All right, guys, here we have the Red Corridor 2. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this from the Dreams platform. Here we go. The Red Corridor. Be warned, this is not for the faint of heart. Please use headphones for the most enjoyable experience. Abigail Williams, a girl who suffered through domestic violence and abuse as a young child, was found critically ill at her small suburban family home. She lays rest at the Michigan State Hospital, recovering from what could have been a fatal incident. Several visitors have been delivering her gifts in the hope that she will one day be her usual self once again. It is 3.05 in the morning. Strange noises and loud banging has been heard from the seventh floor of the hospital. A security guard is on his way to investigate. Now I'm gonna assume we are probably that security guard. Oh, and yes we are. Oh, this looks crazy already. See, I would've seen that, I would've turned around, got back in the elevator and went home. I tell you, for a hospital, there's like no staff. I mean, it is like three in the morning. I like the ambiance though. Help us. Help us. Help us. Oh. I heard help us. Turn back. No, hell no. Turn back. Why? So you could scare the shit out of me? Turn back. Don't go down there. Fine. Turn back. Don't gotta tell me twice. Oh! to do it. I have to check out the noises. I'm a, I'm a guard. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh damn. It's not good. I'm gonna try to make it to that green light down there. Oh, we can't. It's blocked off. Oh, damn. Can we get around that? No. See, then when it gets really quiet, 
that's when you know something's about to pop off. Oh, I see someone standing all the way at the end. And it's not that statue. The statue's on the left there. But straight ahead, somebody's moving. Imagine that's the girl that was ill. She's actually up and about. No, something ain't right there. My flashlight is on. You oh, she just went through that wall. to this room again see what was in there I was told not to go back there so let me check why It's time to get back on that elevator and head out. That chick just went through that wall. Uh-uh. Time to go. This is really creepy, though. The ambiance is really good. Well done. Oh, somebody was banging up. Maybe that's what I, they said that the noise was. All that banging. Hmm. Oh, we can't go nowhere. Oh, boy. Can we check these doors with red? No. You know what they need to add? A, 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 a sprint or a walking faster button or something? It's a bit too slow, but nonetheless, this is pretty cool. I like it. It's very creepy. Oh. oh okay. I'm going to check all the doors. And then that's uh, that's pretty much it. She was back there and walked right through that wall. And there's an, that other light that's down there that's green. We can't get past because of that bloody bed that's turned over in front of it. It's like blocking it, the, the entrance way. I mean, nonetheless, this is really creepy. And you guys know me in horrors. This is great. Oh, whoa, whoa. What was that? Oh, okay. That's just the blood. We can't go in there either. And then the footsteps, you see that, right? Well, they don't even look like feet but that's just blood splatter which 
shows or seems to me that whatever that is came oh oh sh shoes what the hell oh oh wait wait she's coming this way Oh, no, 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 I'm out. See? And we can't even run. Oh, oh, damn. Mm-mm. I ain't looking back. Nope. Nope. I know the elevator's to the left. Yep. I'm not looking back, because she was... Uh-uh. I don't even want to know. This ain't going to open, is it? Nope. <laughs> of course not. I'm going to look back and something's going to be there. Oh. Oh. Okay. saw that room and her floating in there I mean why would I go back over there we have to write to see if that's a way to progress well she didn't follow us let's see guys let's let's see let's oh wait a minute another green doorway let's go in here okay now why did that child have to laugh you know it could have just opened it looks like the other room oh wait wait this is turned over Okay, okay, you don't gotta tell me twice. I'm out. I'm out. This is probably not a smart thing to do, to go back this way. I know that, but that was just creepy. Look, you see, she's not in there, guys. That means she's out here. Oh! There she is. She's at the other end of the hole again. But the last time she went right into the wall. This is great. This is really good. Creepy. Ambiance. This, this is great. I'm enjoying this. If she goes in through that wall again. Oh! Shit! Shoes. Okay. Oh, look all this blood now. Okay, we went in there, yeah. Hopefully that thing, well, that room is not blinking anymore. Maybe we can go in. Yeah, we can go in now. Let's see. Oh, wow. Assuming this is her bed. But there's nobody in here. Oh, 
Oh, she's at that end of the hall again. Something's out there. This is crazy. Wait, why is this open? Oh! She hung herself, guys. That's why we're seeing her spirit. She dead. She hung herself. Well, there's not much for us to do but to leave, right? Okay. This was good. This was good. I'm sure there's a lot more to this, but uh, I'm going to let you guys enjoy it as well and complete it if you guys uh, want to. But this was really good. <laughs> I didn't expect all the extra little twists and turns to come about. This was really good. Great work. Um, I'm going to look to see if there's a, a one. I don't remember one. I don't remember Red Corridor 1, so, but this was definitely good. Good work.